welcome back to our channel. So we eventually have a another kitchen update. kitchen update. I feel like the last time we did one was December maybe, um, and there's been quite a big gap between mm -hmm the last one that we did um so i feel like i want to do like a, just a tiny little recap to showing a quick before for anyone new um so we started a kitchen renovation towards the end of last year um this was the previous kitchen that was in the house when we moved in in january 2020. probably covering my face right now yeah as, as probably just covering the whole screen <laughs> um it was really lovely but we did have an idea that we wanted to change it to more of a kind of open plan kitchen like just rearrange the whole space mm. and everything like that so anyway there's the flashback we have done loads of updates since and we've got another update it is yes. still far from done there are loads more that needs there adding surprisingly smaller bits that needs the big difference is that we at last have our worktops in Yay! we were waiting quite a while for those to get in and that then has meant our sink and our tap and stuff like that can go in yes shall we do should we show it let's just go and show it okay here we go there's Mila. She's ready. She's waiting. She's, on her rug. She's in prime her view. <laughs> Ta -da! So you guys have already seen the table and chairs and a lot of the kitchen already. Like James said, the main change was the countertops. Yay! They have come in. Like we explained, it was hard to explain, but it's they're kind of like a marble um, effect isn't with it? yeah, like, like brownie, a brownie, orangey kind of color going through. We love them. They were a little bit different than what we expected. Um, I it think was a shock, wasn't it, early on? We were like, oh, that wasn't what we thought. Yeah, because we waited so long for them to be fitted, mm. we sort of built up a vision in our head of what they were. And then I think you over think expect what mm. they're going to be. So I was just a little bit surprised that they were thin. I visioned them thick. I think it was honestly just from all the house programs that we've been yes. watching. They all have this thick marvel sort of um, what's it called quartz yeah so then when they were thin I was like oh that's not what I visioned but you know we've had them in for like a couple of days now and I absolutely have warmed I to them really warm to them yeah. I was a bit like you when they first came we thought and we thought like the pattern would run over the side instead of this so this yeah. is actually quartz this is a material called Decton which is meant to be absolutely indestructible and this lasts years and years and years so you and can like it's completely heat proof yeah and scratch proof and mm. everything like that so yeah, we've been putting pans on it, knives, everything, nothing scratches it. So the practicality of it is amazing. Um, all of the little decor up there is the same. Uh, let's move around to here. We've got the tap. James, go on, do a little demonstration. Uh, like I we said, this- electricity back on. Oh, it might not be I on. I think it is actually. Ready? So it's a boiling hot water tap. Let's see if the electricity's on. Oh. Yeah, it's some hot water. I won't put my hand over it because it was so <laughs> So it's kind of like a childproof mechanism to get the hot water yeah. on like that, and all then you just use that as a normal tap. Yeah, which then will never be boiling. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. We currently are having our garage chain into a utility room. It's very COVID safe. They are leaving an entrance through the external door in the garage, but it very is noisy. noisy. We'll be right back. And we're oh, back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> it's good. Stop. We're just trying to form between the drilling. That's what she said. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so there's still little bits like there's a little masking tape bit there. Yeah, um, and needs to have something put in it. Yeah, and the drawer underneath and everything, and the dishwasher still needs to go in. So there are little bits and bobs around the place that need doing. But yeah, we've got the countertop, we've got a little um, splash thing running up the side here. And the sill is in the same deck ton, so that all matches. And the same with this sill down here. Which has put some lovely pillows on. <laughs> I put little pillows on, guys, because it's honestly like the perfect little perching place. It is, isn't it? It's actually a really good height. It's so nice you to pitch. Like a kid's in here, just yeah. like chilling when you cook it, like sucking on their juice box. Oh, stop it, I'll cry. Yeah, so we've got all of that. We've got the shelves put in, which we absolutely love. We feel like the shelves and this corner now just add a lot of sort of our yeah. character and mm. hominess. To the matches kitchen. Matches well with the clock, doesn't it? Matches really well with the clock. I think and all the little... one is leaning forward a little bit. It is slightly. Like leaning forward, you know, tower pieces. It's just, <laughs> and I'm thinking everything's going to start falling off. <laughs> So that has all come together very nicely and we've obviously got the new sink and everything. And we've been thinking about what we'd like to do with the windows, whether we want to add in some roller blinds. We've been watching the um, Dream Home like interior Dream program. Home makeover. <sighs> Love it. it. Something McGee. Studio McGee. St Studio McGee, oh. darling. Everything's oh. lovely. Perfect. Everything's pricey. just too perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
BRB. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> um, so yes, we're thinking on the windows, yeah. on both windows. We don't know whether to put in, they're not roller blinds as such, what would you call them? They're those... Like fold up blinds? Yeah, they kind of fold up so they, they kind of hang down a little bit so you've got a little bit of pattern on C and then if you wanted to fold them down you can. We don't really need privacy back here, no one overlooks, but we're just thinking for texture and for warmth. <laughs> Adding that 3D, that texture, layering. Layers. That's what she says, we're layering. layering. So we think we probably <laughs> will go for something on this window. We just don't know if this window suits anything. I think we might yeah. leave, yeah, leave that maybe as a feature one mm. with the fairy lights around the outside. Because I think on like a hot summer's day, or just on a nice day, even like today, you don't want anything. Mm -hmm. You just want this nice big window. Mm -hmm. So we'll think about yeah, that. Yeah, but then this window, I feel like because there's quite a lot of plastic above the top, the blind will yes. come down, it won't actually sort of cover that window mm -hmm. anyway and it will just add that texture and 3D-ness. Yeah, I think it would be nice, definitely. In the nights, like we said before, there's quite a lot of black and there's quite yeah. a lot of darkness because all We've the... Got this, yeah. this and this big kind of space here, which again, we don't know whether to do anything with windows or curtains or blinds. Probably mm. definitely not here, mm -hmm. but it just means that there's a lot of black, like you're just looking at darkness. Yes, so adding something there would be really lovely. Mm -hmm. um, we then over here, you can see that mm. this previously had, I think it's called an upstand, which is what we have over here, kind of on this countertop. Um, we decided to pull it off before it dried because we, we feel like it is, you know, we can put it back up, but we were gonna have that and then just a piece of glass behind it for kind of a splashback for the hob. But we're thinking of tiling, aren't we? We are. Mm. We wanted it again. Studio McGee, <laughs> add a little layers, a bit of yeah. texture, add a bit of character to the kitchen, and we just feel like glass sort of feeds into the sterile, mm -hmm. what's the word? Almost like clean lines, like you want yeah. clean lines, but you also want a bit of warmth and homeliness. And The kitchen already is very sleek and very, which suits the space because yeah. it's not a huge space. Well, it is a big it's space, big, but yeah. it's a big kitchen. In, a, in, a, in this space, isn't yes, it? Like we don't yeah. then have loads of room for dining. Sure. Kind of the kitchen takes up the bulk of the space. So, we thought we'd add some tiles. We've been mm -hmm. like getting a couple of samples here and there, so, yeah, where that possible. Was what we were thinking of. Do you want to remember um, what we were thinking? Yeah, actually? is it in the... So we've actually kind of gone ahead for a tile. I think, not the issue was, but we wanted, we kind of, when we set out, we wanted a bit more of a, kind of a cottagey feel kitchen, which is why we went for the shaker style. And it's kind of just turned out a little bit more like modern and clean cut than we were thinking. And that's why, even though we absolutely love it and we wouldn't change it, we thought if we added like a tile, it would kind of bring back in a bit more of that cottagey, warm feeling. So we wanted to go for an off-white tile, something quite simple and something that was going to be easy to clean. So a, gl a gloss rather than a matte. And this is kind of what we're thinking of. So it's just kind of quite a basic, it's not a metro tile because it doesn't have any kind of angles and it's not a subway tile but it's, it's got a little bit of, of texture in it it's not yeah. like perfectly smooth from the side so it has that little cobbly mm -hmm. which again studio mcgee yeah. does love a cobble textured tile she does and yeah we're probably going to stack them so we're getting a tile that's a little bit longer it's double the, it's double the length exactly Whoa. so it's going to be double the length for the same width and then rather than brick which yeah. is quite like it's what we have so in the old house effect yeah yeah on here, around here, yeah. we're gonna like stack them on top of each other, mm -hmm. which is like kind of a bit more modern, maybe. Yeah. But I also... think it is a bit, and it's a bit more kind of clean lined. It's a bit, yeah. I think it's less kind of overwhelming, if that makes sense. Mm. Oh, look what I've seen in the background. I know. Look how amazing that looks. So, so, go on then, you can talk about this. You want to take the camera? Okay, yeah, I will. Because I just love, did you get a good shot from like right back here? Because I feel like the colours of the piece of art just really go well with the rest of the kitchen. I'm just going to drive this course. You can't okay, go for it. We had a little bit of money from my grumpy for Christmas. Um, and he was like, get something nice with it, treat yourself. And we were thinking for a little while, we were like, what would we like? Travel a tail in the door. Because we like, when we get money, yeah, it's nice when you get money, it's nice to like put it towards something kind of specific. So yeah. that we can go, look, this is what we've kind of... And it reminds you of them, and it's just really nice yeah. to have something like that. Um, so I knew I wanted to get a piece of art. I had this um, account on Etsy where I'd liked loads of their pieces of art, and I'd always wanted to get one, but I was like, no, like I just need to, you know, not do that. I've treated myself to too, too much other stuff. So I decided just to get one of the pieces of art uh, with his money, and ah, look at it! So, <laughs> for anyone new, this sofa is changing. This area down the end is very much changing, but it's gonna be a very neutral area. 
So I wanted to get a piece of art that really tied into the rest of the kitchen, um, but was also not too overwhelming. So there's like a lot of greys, a lot of bronzes, which are in the kitchen, obviously a lot of whites, a lot of kind of just neutral colors. And it almost just felt like a mood board for the rest of the room mm -hmm. in a painting, which yeah. I absolutely love. It's turned out so well. I love the frame as well that's come with it. Like, yeah. It's just really stunning. I love it. So yeah, like we said, this, even though Mila loves that sofa, we are actually getting a lighter colored sofa to go there. Guys, don't even, you're gonna hate it. You're just gonna hate on us for this. I did say I was against this idea. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. The frustrating thing is, lighter colour sofas <laughs> do look better. Like, since we put our lighter colour sofa in that front lounge, it just transforms the room. Just transforms. And it just really does make it feel like more airy, almost a bit more spa -like. Yeah. And, like, with the lighter sofas, if we do, like, we put the blanket down for Mila, yeah. she does stick on the blanket. Oh, yeah, so we haven't, good. lately, we haven't really had to clean it much at no. all. So she is quite well behaved when it comes to that. But obviously we are, having a child and I'm sure that I will regret and look back on all this and say you were so Idiot. wrong but for now I'm just going to live out my naiveness but we did actually try and get a teal green one but it was out of stock so we, <laughs> we <true. laughs> it's not a white it's an off-white it's a taupe color um so it's a taupe sofa it's a three-seater and it's got a footstool uh and so we're gonna basically do that space when the sofa arrives see what we want to put there we know that we're going to be doing a photo wall, which we're hopefully going to be starting yeah. on later, hopefully finishing. Well, actually the photos haven't come yet, but we've got all the frames and I've organized where they all go, which is what I said in the last vlog. So yeah, we're going to do a photo wall here. So then it's kind of like artsy, but homey. And then we haven't decided quite yet what we're doing with that white wall down there opposite, well, right, by the table. Decided, I think she sprinkled a bit of mud down this wall. <laughs> That's what Mila's decided to do with it. Get a little pattern, a bit of texture, but <laughs> The wall behind. Oh, right, yeah, she hasn't wall. sprinkled mud on that one yet. No, but I know so, that yeah. loads of people have been saying here would be a perfect place for our piano. Loads of people on our lounge vlogs. Oh, yeah. I think that's very fair. I think it would look lovely, but we just really want this space yeah. as a sitting area because mm -hmm. we really want kitchen, dining, you know, loungy space, yeah. all to be within one room, so that this can be like our complete day room. Definitely. And this is just where we're going to spend our days like in the lounge. Always have this vision of like when the baby comes, I just wanted to be like chilling on the sofa, breastfeeding, and kind of just like chilling with James in the kitchen area because we do spend a lot of up our a day. Storm. Wow. On delivery room. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I really wanted to have those three separate spaces in the kitchen. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited to it's get. It's quite nice to take up some of the space. So the sofa will be similar size with then a footstool kind of in that corner mm -hmm. for a bit of lounging. And it's quite nice to use the space because if we just put something in that corner, yeah. then you've kind of got all of this space that you Wasted. don't really use. So it's Definitely. quite nice to use this wall. Yeah. To be able to sit here and look down. Mila loves looking at us in the kitchen. She does. She sees when anything drops on the floor. It's her favorite spot. Um, and this sofa is going to be going in this room. Again, this is still our dumping ground, guys. It it's especially now that uh, the garage had to be cleared out for the utility. And yeah, stuff. obviously the garage has been cleared out. Everything is just Got in all there. All of our push chair stuff in there and car seats and things like that. That's going to be a nice little project for later on. Who knows? Whenever. That literally, though, the flooring's done in there, so it just needs a good paint. Yeah. And then we can just organise kind of our older furniture in there and have it just as another kind of sitting, storage, toys, toy room, that kind of thing. All of that. So I feel like next step is organising this section and then we'll be really close to it being done with also a few finishing touches as well. So what exactly do we have left? We have the dishwasher. Yeah. We have a little bit on the sink. Tiles. The tiling on the splash bag. And then there's just a few finishing touches in here like we're missing some kind of of the panels and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and on this side as well, this is actually a hidden cupboard. It's not really that hidden because you can see. Ooh. So that's there. We changed that door. That was a shaker style but it hides it the more and we're just going to put some kind of planking paneling yeah. things called at the bottom so it's really kind of integrated and the same down the side there that needs yeah. to happen. James is also going to get a new rustic chopping board for his little section there. Can I it? Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Charles has also popped up here her Miss about coffees. Oh yeah. That yeah. just, you know, I had to get that in there. I don't even think it like goes perfectly but it's oh, something no, it's I made fun. and I love and I just... 
I just could not put it up, guys. There was nowhere else to put it, so don't shout at me if it doesn't go. <laughs> Some things just aren't right, but they are homemade. I love it. I think Thank it looks you. really nice. And it goes, goes well with the, with the aesthetic. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, yes, we're going to do a picture wall now. Um, we are. On that side of the Wait, picture. the other thing I wanted to talk about was the handles. Okay, let's talk about the handles. So, we picked the handles. Handles are good because they're like one of the cheapest things to change in a kitchen that can actually like transform the space and so we picked these handles i'll give you a little we we, we will admit that we rushed picking these handles that's not going to focus properly but they're a bit like um they're not glitzy but they're like i don't know they have a sparkle to them um sparkles, sparkles. which we didn't really notice at the time when we ordered them and i think once they all got put up yeah it made the kitchen feel quite sparkly. I don't really know how to explain it. A bit almost like glam. Yes. A bit like sugar. A bit showbiz. Yeah. I mean, you can't really see it on camera, and it's not that bad. But I think we had in our head that we really wanted like a vintagey brass. Yes. And we then. Did think they were going to be more like that? Yeah. We obviously rushed our decision with them. Like we said, we didn't invest a lot in the handles, but we did make a quick decision with them, and they just turned out a little bit bright gold and a bit sparkly. So it's not going to be a dramatic change, but we, we have ordered a sample of one that is just yeah. a bit more like dull. So when we like got, went for this cabinet, we were hoping that the sort of dull brassy yeah. tones would match this sort of brownier colours. But obviously, as you can see, they're quite yellowy and gold. So the ones we've ordered are basically just a vintage brass. They're the same shape. They're just a little bit thicker, maybe a bit more like cottagey vibes to them. So we're going to see when the samples of that come, see what yeah. we think and sort of go from there. Maybe we'll tile first and then if we still want to change the handle, yeah. we'll change them. Yeah, okay? sure. Because the tiling might add like enough kind of, I don't mm -hmm. know, cottagey vibes that the... Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying culture, like farmhouse, you know, just yeah. like old fashioned, isn't it? Bit more, you know, home vibes. Yeah. Uh, and then the other thing that I think is going to make a really big difference is we've got a rug to go into the dining table. Mm. Again, Studio McGee, you know, she always puts a rug, guys, and the dining table. Layering, layering. Do um, that look strange, like two rugs? Yeah, I think then we'll have to think about what we're doing here when the new sofa comes. Okay. And sort of like see how it all pans out. Yeah. But yeah, and obviously we're not sure whether we're keeping that there or doing something else there and like there's all bits and bobs to decide. Yeah, we have like this space here above the doors, which obviously when the doors aren't open, mm. we can use for things. Mm. So like previously we had a dog bed here, we could put a dog bed back in. Yeah. But she just sleeps on sofas anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> exactly. So there's still so much to come together with that, but I feel great having done another update well, got for that. We've a very lovely usable kitchen now. We love it. So we do gorgeous. love it. I'm so happy with it all. Isn't so great. Isn't it funny how things grow on you? I like when mm. the cat talks for me, we were like, oh, we're like, oh, what were we expecting? And now, like, I wouldn't change them. No. At all. Like, I, I absolutely love them. Well, I just love the fact I can put hot pans on them. Yeah, it's just a lifesaver. You have to get chopping boards all the time and stuff. So, now we're going to try and do a photo wall, which is just always ends up being incredibly the walls in our house. stressful. Oh, no. We have actually we bought the little white um, hooks where like they have the tiny, tiny nails. And they actually go into our external walls. I'm so excited because even normal small nails do not go into our external walls because they're double brick with no plasterboard. Like they just hit the brick and they just, no, no plasterboard, Nightmare. no whatever it's called. Anyway, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. So we got, we got the goods. Go on then. Go and get your toolbox and we'll get going. I thought I would just show you guys the um, ring that James got me. Uh, is it called an eternity ring? Oh, there's the drilling. So yes, I have my eternity push pregnancy baby ring that James got me that doesn't fit on my swollen fingers. I put it on a necklace along with the little one that he got me for Christmas. And then I've also got my little, got my little elephant Pandora bracelet from James as well. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, on your guys' request, I always listen to you. I did take off the wedding and engagement ring because my fingers are swelling and I do agree I do not want to have it cut off whether that be during the birth because my fingers are going to pop out in the <laughs> blooming sockets or after or near it I just don't want to risk it so I've taken off I've got a little like ring dent in my finger taken off all my rings I'm very sad about it but I've got this take mine off? no <laughs> definitely not uh okay now I should help James with the photo wall so this is how far we got with the photo wall we pulled out Time, 12 minutes <laughs> the white things that's james cooking his chicken burgers in the oven i'm such a child 
He loves his little timer on his Apple Watch. So we're having a lunch break. Got the office on in the kitchen. Favourite thing we put in the kitchen is the TV, obviously. I'm such a child. I know we are. <laughs> um, and guys, I'm using my crisp bowl for salad. Who would have thought? Everyone laughed at me for buying a salad bowl that I was going to use for crisps. And look at me go. Look I've you. got my it's salad. We've got one person salad. And then we've got our bigger salad bowl up top. I know. We've got two bigger salad bowls. Oh. <gasps> Guys, do you want to use the sticks? <gasps> my salad sticks. The salad sticks that you got me. Oh, yay. Yeah, because I'm just about to put the best bit in, the salad, the sauce. Oh, you can actually put it in before you put it on the plate. Oh, defo. Like, I put the sauce in and then I mix it all, like, mix it all together and then chicken burgers on top. We're still absolutely loving our lounge space and how we re rearranged it. It's definitely our favourite arrangement so far. Um, but we loved hearing all your opinions on it. <sighs> so we usually do eat in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm struggling to sit down these days. Um, we usually do eat in the kitchen, but with the noise and everything, we just thought we'd come and eat in the lounge on our white sofa. Always a good option. <laughs> I'm just so proud of my little pregnancy lunch today, guys. I feel like I've made myself... See, now I'm just too scared to turn that around because I'm just going to spill everything. I should actually... Start taking things off. These are honestly the most handy, handy things we purchased ever is these. Cause they're just the best and most practical. Yeah, I feel like I've made myself like a proper little lunchbox lunch, lunchbox lunch. My little quavers and grapes, salad. And I feel like that's, this actually just isn't gonna be enough. It doesn't feel very filling. I swapped out my sandwich buns for salad and now I feel like I'm not gonna be full at all. But you know, I'm trying, trying to stay healthy into my food third and final trimester. That is honestly such a James meal. No, don't show my food, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Boo, this is just me trying to be cute for the vlog. Like, we all know every other Why day. Why are you faking it? Every other day. I'm not faking it with the vlog, I promise. I a sandwich, because I know you wouldn't be full. No, you didn't. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it makes me look good, doesn't it? Because <laughs> you'll eat half a sandwich less. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, usually that's my type of meal, but to be fair, I have been trying to incorporate salads and fruits and everything since right at... I mean, we've always eaten salads and fruits, but... Right at the beginning of pregnancy, I like tried to be much healthier and I've actually been loving like my salads and nuts. Like I was just always one of those people like who snacks on nuts? Now that's me. I'm just one of those. But then I also they also snack on. Though, no, but they maybe, are, but they're good for you. Sort of. I'm not trying to do like low calorie or anything. Nuts. Like I never try and do that, but I'm just trying it's to do. Snack on chocolate. Yeah, like nutritious. Yes. Nutrients, you know? Exactly. Keep those nutrients up. We are watching something called Instant Hotel, which is hilarious. It's our kind of go-to. Oh, no, that's I'm a killer. That's I'm a killer. It's which... our go-to for... Uh... <laughs> I don't know why there's a topless guy in this episode. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see. Here he comes. Okay, so we finished lunch. We finished... <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Finished stalling. We are now going to do the photo wall. We've been saying that, like, all day. Um, I've laid out the frames. So I made this like cardboard cutout thing a little while ago. I like measured kind of basically. It's a really clever idea. It was, yeah. Well, we had this massive piece of cardboard and I was like, this is good because I can sort of measure how much of the wall I want to take up and just cut the cardboard to that size, which is kind of exactly yeah. the size we've got here. Um, and then I can organize the frames. And because I had frames already that I like had already bought like these and these and loads of them and then i just anyone's yeah they were from my old photo wall anyone's i didn't have i decided what size and then i was able to order the exact size to fit and like ah, and that goes there yeah so i was really chuffed with how organized i was because usually i would just shove things on the wall wouldn't i willy-nilly and then they would just look awful but i did try and be a bit more no, it was good. Meh. Yeah. but i think the thing with photo walls is they are good because I, I don't, they suit not being lined up perfectly. Yeah. Um, like it so. Like doesn't matter if these end up a few centimeters higher or lower. Yeah. Because it's just fine, the gaps are different sizes, they're different heights, it's all good. It's meant to be quirky. So, it gives us a little bit more freedom. But I think what the best way to do it, do you, I don't know, is like start with maybe one, like the center top? I'd start with the center top and I'd measure with a tape measure. Try to get the center top nice and center. Yeah. And then you can just go a bit more random from there. Then. Exactly. That's what I would do. But is that centre top even centre? Because technically that frame's bigger and that 
So it's not necessarily I think it's centre. Just a good starting point. They're not too dissimilar. The width. Of no, that, of that. it is actually quite quite central. Yeah. So it's a good starting point. Okay, wish us luck. I know I'm still stalling, and I just said I was going to start the wall, but I'm going to make a cup of coffee first. My decaf cup of coffee in my Christmas mug. Don't even ask why I still use this when we have the most ginormous <coughs> drawer full of that many mugs, and I'm still using a Christmas mug. I just don't know. I just get excited by the. <laughs> by the boiling hot tap guys it is so quick to make a cup of coffee no more having to wait for the kettle to boil we just hello straight in bit of milk bob's your uncle cup of coffee done so 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 excited about that so we've done the first top row we're gonna pop them up now and see what they're like we just flip them up we did that one in the middle and then we measured from like hook where the hook's gonna be mm -hmm. um and then we've got the three hooks so let's hope it works let's see how they go i'm feeling hopeful for this okay so after all that planning and prepping mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we did not follow any of it we basically no. put up the first three and because we were trying to measure and do what we usually do which never goes straight or right or whatever you guys know how bad we are at stuff like that um it looked like we were trying to line things up yeah and so it looked so much worse than actually the whole point of the photo wall i wanted it to not matter if there was like two centimeters between one three centimeters i wanted it to look like a bit jumbled and it was looking like not mm. good jumbled so anyway we decided to just put one up and just arrange around so we completely changed the layout Change all the, which is now going to change all the sizes of the photos I've ordered. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I'm just going to have to wait till the photos arrive, see what goes in what, mm. and we'll see what we can fit in. I, but this massive frame in the bottom left, I'm pretty sure you have a landscape photo. I do. Right? So and it gonna, cost. We're going to be like this. Cost me five quid that did because they classed it as a poster. No. I know. So, we just got to twist our heads. <laughs> yep. I'll decor. I'll have to go in there for now. Some of the frames I feel need slight straightening. But um, yeah, it was meant to be a quirky, homey vibe, yeah. and I, it's got that. I really it like always that. looks strange until you put the photos yeah. in as well, obviously. Because it kind of just looks like you're trying to create art with all these weird things inside the frame when actually yeah. they're just going to be <laughs> photos of us and Mila. Literally, me, Callis, and Mila. And, and the, the wedding. wedding. We've got photos. the only kind oh, of photos. The wedding? No, I tried to get pictures with friends and family at the right. wedding. Because okay. honestly, I... Remember those times when we could actually <laughs> see people, have family. a party, have a cuddle? We've yeah. always only had, like, shrine pictures of me, James and Mila in the house. Like, it just looks like a shrine to us. Because yeah. we never... Firstly, obviously, we've had COVID, so we haven't been, like, seeing friends and family. Oh, because this was an old but house thing, you know. This that. is an old house thing, because we never take pictures with friends yeah. and family. Because I feel like we always get pictures for, like, thumbnails and, like, worky stuff and like when we're out and about but then when we're with friends and family we like make sure we're off our phones off our cameras and all yeah. that so then we, we never end up, think quick let's get a selfie no no i would no. never think let's get a selfie with my no. friends or family so it ends up looking like we have no friends or family which we do have limited because you know especially when it comes to the friends we have a limited selection of loyal oh cast loves that word she loves using that loyal. word loyal but really you can just say close close <laughs> yeah. friends uh, but yeah we still don't have any pictures of them but we do at the wedding so they're the only time we get them in. Great, let's just have a shrine to our wedding. I don't even know if we're using the word shrine correctly. But I don't know, we'll actually. It. But yeah, I'm loving how it looks there in the background. It, really it just brings so much warmth and depth and 3 d and <gasps> texture, texture layers. layers. And once you've got that. There's a lot going on here now. Much there is. But there's also a lot. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like people are going to say there's too much going on potentially with the piece of art. I, I wonder if. Obviously, when you look in this way, you only see the art, really. Mm. But like, because the piece of art is meant to be the statement, mm. I don't think it is anymore. Mm. And you come in, and that's last that last down the statement. But trust me, once. But then the, the piece of art was mainly for like when you're back here, yes. and then everything's kind of like white, and you've just got the art. Yeah. It is hard to it film. Is hard. It's hard because without that, that wall would have been plain white and I just feel like... This wall? Yeah, I don't yeah. like plain white walls. I know. But I feel like it also looks jumbled because we've got a sofa, a wacky oh, armchair and then a kind of rug thing. Yeah. And that's all going to go. It's going to be white, nice cushions, baskets, a more like neutral white, palette. White, nice cushions, baskets. Like, where's the space, Karis? The basket's going to go there. <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> With baby toys. That's a good place for a basket. <laughs> Woo, I'm sweating. That was intense.
That was good. Now what are we doing for the rest I mean, of the day? Like, we're, like, that's good interior stuff for us. Yeah, like, it we is. We usually just delay things like that for days and weeks and months. Yes. I've literally lost my train of thought what I was going to say. Is it a trail of thought or a train? train? Is it a train? Is it a choo-choo? Choo-choo train. I thought it was a trail because you lost the trail. Trail. No, it doesn't sound right. Trail of trail thought. Of no, thought. it is train. Train. You're right, it's train. Definitely train of thought. So that's it from us in this video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope that you're staying safe, you're staying well, you're looking after yourself physically and mentally we do. during this time. Because we it's still do. so strange and we've been saying it for so long. But it is strange and I've spilled water on myself. <laughs> marks all over you. I'm going back to my uh, baby self. Preparing for baby. Preparing for baby, I'm getting getting house ready, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dribbling. <laughs> um, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed and are looking after yourselves. We love you so much. Thank you for all your support lately on our channel. Oh, we feel we like know. there's been so much crazy support. It's just been amazing. So Thanks thank so much, you. Guys. We love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.